Now we will talk about multiplication and division with radical expressions. And that just means taking two mathematical expressions, or perhaps more, that involve radicals and multiplying them and dividing them. And so you get some result, some algebraic expression that is a result. And the result should be simplified. So we need to go over this idea of simplifying the radical expressions first. And I'm going to go over three rules for simplifying radical expressions. And the first one is one that you already know, and it's an important one, and that is that perfect square factors should be removed from under the radical sign. So put these rules into your notes. You should have these written down. And, and this, this is the important one here. Perfect square factors should be removed from under the radical sign. Okay, so if you can find any perfect square factors under the square root sign, take them out from under the square root sign and square root them in the process. And then rules two and three, we've talked about these before, but we'll, we will see all of these applied to numbers and variables when simplifying the results of some kind of operation with a radical expression. Rule two is that fractions should be removed from under the radical sign. fractions should be removed from under the radical sign. And then rule three is that no radicals should be left in the denominator. No radicals should be left in the denominator. So those are the rules, and we'll see examples involving all of those. And we'll see that these show up when we take radical expressions and multiply or divide them, and we need to simplify the result.